today key websites have gone dark. They've gone dark to send a message, an unprecedented message, and a message we don't want to send this way. The idea of bringing down our services, denying our users what it is we give freely, is something we don't want to do. But we do it to show how fragile the internet is and how much Washington can mess it up. Innovation uh, gives us an opportunity to impact the world from our perspective. And we don't want people who spend their days uh, legislating to try and control creativity. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to invest in companies like Google, Facebook, and Twitter all of whom would be severely impacted by this proposed legislation. The major takeaway here of the internet is that we are the innovators. We are the job creators. The content industry, instead of, say, investing in startups or innovating, they're spending their money in bed with the lobbyists, right? They're spending so much money on this, but what we have is the people, and we have the power, and we have the enthusiasm of the technology community. We could be shut down without due process, and that's a huge threat. So it would affect our company and all of our employees in San Francisco. Absolutely. I mean, yes. I mean, everything that I do is everything that I do online. Um, you know, user-generated content, participatory media, all the things that I love and that I stand for in this industry would be threatened by this legislation. There's absolutely no way that Flickr could have been built without this legis with this legislation in place. It's it, it would be impossible. Prelinger Archives has never had a copyright claim against us because we're pretty squeaky clean, but we've had false claims um, by gold diggers or by corporations whose bots get their stuff mixed up with ours, and we could have been shut down and we could have gone through hell trying to get back up online. I work for Mozilla, but I'm not speaking for them. I also work for many open standards uh, organizations, uh, independent organizations like microformats.org, uh, WetWG, I work with the W3C. A lot of the work done in those standards organizations is done by contributors, uh, user-generated content, as it were, whether it's test cases, documentation, uh, and a lot of that is potentially affected by, by SOPA as well. So essentially, almost all the work that I do, uh, my employment is potentially threatened. You know, the people I work with are, are all potentially threatened by SOPA. We have services where people uh, put online video and do online communication about how they get around without using a car. And if somebody chooses not to like somebody's video or somebody's statement, um, then that could be taken off. And you know, those projects do not have a large budget. We don't have the ability to defend, to defend them. And so things would be able to get taken down before, you know, without our ability to fight it. I happen to work for the Internet Archive, which, aside from putting uh, millions of texts, movies, and uh, concert recordings online, uh, has a substantial amount of user-contributed content, and that content would probably be silenced by this uh, law. We would have to police our users, and, and I can barely get designs out the door. I don't have time. My organization is called Hackers and Founders. Um, we are as started off as a meetup group, um, just to kind of get together and talk about building startups and creating companies and hiring people and what does it mean and how do we do that. Um, we're actually the largest grassroots community of two dudes in a garage starting businesses in Silicon Valley. We have 5,000 members here and 12,000 members worldwide. So. At this point, um, yeah, I got to put stuff on the back burner and do this because I think it's going to break the internet for hundreds or if not thousands of my, our constituents, our members. So I work for an organization that's campaigning against SOPA and PIPA, the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, so we're trying to spread the word about this legislation and organize people and mobilize people against it.